In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use Yoast's tool, which is available on ADF Playground for synthesis purpose. So let us understand the things that are required. Obviously, we need design that we want to synthesize. In this case, I have taken here full adder just for demonstration purpose. This is our full adder description here. And we need standard cells library. So this is the standard cell library. This is not for fabrication purposes. This is only for demo. So we have here in this standard cell libraries, we have one buffer cell, one not cell, and NAND cell, NOT cell, D flip flop, and this is D, another D flip flop. So with different features. So this is our standard cell library. And here we have this is a script file. What it does, is, this is script file is it first reads the standard cell library that is the command here read underscore liberty is the command to read this lib file dot lib stands for this lib stands for liberty so which is the extension for standard cells library so that's the command that to, to read here read underscore liberty hype space hyphen lib space standard cell library name in our case, cmod underscore cells dot lib. Next second line is read underscore very log. And this is our design dot sv file, this design file name. And this is no latches. We'll discuss this in some other video. If you don't keep here, also not an issue for this ex example. And then this is the uh, command here, synth for uh, mapping uh, netlist to standard cells. This is the command synth space hyphen top, the top module name, because this module may have sub modules also instantiated in it. So in that case, the top module name is required. So that is how this one. So then uh, this is, this synthesis command is to, uh, just to generate generic netlist, not for the standard cell, not to map to the standard cells. It, it, it what it does is it it generates a generic netlist. Meaning, what we can infer from this, we can infer from this XOR gates, and we can infer from and uh, from this AND gate and OR gate. That 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 thing that. That's what the generic means. And whereas this ABC tool, what it does is it maps this generated netlist to this technology. In this case, this is the de this is a demo technology you can call. It, it may be like 180 nanometer, 90 nanometer like that. So to this technology, who, who maps? This ABC tool maps. And then intermediate uh, while doing this uh, some intermediate file may uh, be generated so for that this is the clean command and this is the flatten command so this is required to instead of having like uh, sub modules the entire design is mapped uh, i mean translated to a uh, single unit so elaboratively i will take in some other video this one uh, and then this write underscore very log. This command is required to write the netlist. Fine. And this command is required to report uh, the cells uh, that that uh, that this design has got after synthesis. And then. Uh, rough chip idea, like how a chip area. 
uh, that is uh, this this is actually basically we are giving the uh, the name here of dot rpt and this is the required command here this one is required uh, thing and this is the required thing and this entire thing is required thing this is the user defined like i, I just gave name you can give anything here like how many cells uh, it is going to con uh, consume this design that information and roughly estimated chip area so that report we will get from this command so this is the script file uh, okay so before doing the synthesis we have to ensure that our design is working correctly so for that we have a test bench since this video is not about to explain the test bench or explain this design file it is uh, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate uh, this uh, script i mean how we can use this uh, tool dda playground tool uh, for synthesis purpose using open source uh, synthesis tool called eosis so what is that let us uh, again uh, summarize quickly we have to have design file and we have to have this script file and standard cell library. These three things are required to do the synthesis using Yosis tool here. You can see this is the Yosis tool. And before doing this synthesis, we have to ensure that this design itself is correct. For that, we have to have test bench and we have to select here among the available here, there are commercial tools here for that special, I mean, uh, uh, like uh, Gmail, Yahoo, these IDs are not going to work. Like uh, some company name, like a uh, user at uh, abc.com like that. Uh, if the, those IDs are there with that, if you're creating your account in EDA Playground, then you can use them. Otherwise, we have to use this free simulators and freely available tools means this Yosis and this VTR, VTR tool for synthesis purpose. I did not try this on deck and my interpretation with Gmail ID. I don't know whether, I mean, available or not. Okay, but in this video where I'm going to demonstrate this Yosis tool. So before, as I said, doing synthesis, we had to ensure that this design itself is correct. So for that, we have to select a simulator. So IKRS Verilog is a uh, free simulator. Let us select that one. And then here, uh, this open EP wave after run. So in, in waveform, if you want to see, then only you can select this one. No, if you don't want waveform, only the console, if it is displaying, that is enough means in that case, uh, that is not required. This this thing is not required. Only this command here, you know, uh, system task here, uh, Verilog system task will do this job, displaying the result in the console window. So let's select this one. Anyway, it is there. It will come here in the console. The, uh, this is because of this dollar monitor, we can see in the console. Let us select this open EP wave after run. So what is that to run the simulation we have to do? We have to have a test bench and then we have to select a simulator and then we have to select open EP wave after run if you want to see in the waveform. So after selecting all that, just run this one. So we will see waveform here. You, you can click here and uh, this vertical line that we see uh, it's a marker kind of thing like you can drag here uh, any anywhere like you can just click and it will come there so corresponding to this time interval these are the values that we see so like that in the waveform we can uh, analyze the other thing is as i said because of this dollar monitor in the console we will get here we are getting in the console the results so having uh, uh, gone through these results here, we can say that, yes, this design is meeting our functionality requirement. Now we are ready to go for the synthesis. So to do the synthesis, as I said, 
we had to have standard cell library and we had to have this uh, script. Then you select here, Yosis tool. And then uh, this is not, re uh, re this is required. Run.ys is required because this is the file that we, ha we have to run. This is the script file. And show diagram after run. So if you select this one, uh, netlist, I mean that uh, synthesized, uh, after synthesis, uh, how circuit looks like that we can see here if you select this one. So after selecting that, you just run. Let us summarize before running quickly. To synthesize, we have to select the uh, synthesizer here. The synthesizer here is this Yosis tool. And then we have to select this use uh, run.ys. For that, we have to have this run.ys file here. This is a script file. And show diagram after run needs to be selected if you want to see the uh, netlist uh, diagram. So let us run. So this is the uh, netlist, uh, I mean, diagram that we can see here. Uh, you have this A input here, B input here, C input A, B, C, and uh, our sum and uh, CO is here. So this one we can close here. If you want to see, as I said, this will report, uh, you know, estimated chip area of the synthesis. So to, to get that one, what we have to do here is, you just uncheck this one, uh, show diagram, download files after run, just select this one. Again, rerun this one. So it will, give us uh, some result.zip file so that you uh, have to save on your desktop or somewhere in my case on desktop PDF playground folder save it so this is getting uh, downloaded here so once that is done go to this uh, uh, showing folder here it is just right click and uh, unzip that one. So this is the, uh, the folder that uh, you know, we have downloaded, the contents of that folder. We are interested in seeing two things here. One is this report and netlist file. So this report I am opening, you can see here, the number of cells are 14. And uh, among the cells, we have NAND gate number eight, NOR gate two, and NOT gate four. And the estimated chip area for that module is 52. And the units are depending upon our technology. If it is there in nano, uh, it's a uh, nanometer, so 52 nanometers, uh, that way the units are applicable. And then another uh, here is this netlist file. So if you open this netlist file, you will have uh, standard cells here. Now you, you don't have this one. If you see this your code, uh, this code is entirely translated to standard cells. You see them here, the, those like uh, in a image format you have seen uh, the same thing in text format like this so this is called netlist uh, file okay so that's how uh, you can use this uh, eda playground for synthesis purpose as well so remember the things that are required quickly let us summarize you can have design file you must have the design file and then script file and standard cell library. And then with using this open source EOSIS synthesizer, we can do our synthesis using EDA Playground. Thank you.
If you have any uh, doubts, please uh, ask in the comments section. Thanks.